Hi guys, Dave in Texas here, and a friend of mine on YouTube was thinking about buying one of these uh, White Falcons, these Gretzes from China, and I was trying to tell him that uh, I had to put a camera down the side of, one, of mine and uh, get a good look at what it looks like on the inside of it, and to be honest with you, I wasn't very much surprised. Uh, I've already looked on the inside of a 355 and a 335, pretty much the same guitar, and uh, they are built similarly to this one. Um, not much as far as bottom or top supports or cross members or beams uh, or struts inside the guitar, just a top and bottom brace, and that's it. Now this one, in particular, has a uh, long neck uh, that goes into it, so I can show that to you without too much trouble. I can turn it towards the neck. You can see the neck bracing there, right? So it's somewhat braced, not much, but somewhat. Uh, and back behind it, you have the uh, a piece of rough cut yellow pine. Believe it or not, that's what that is, yellow pine. See that? That's the brace and support for the Bigsby. That big piece of ass metal above Bigsby that's uh, uh, bolted down to the guitar. And it's just simply glued to it. There's nothing but just a, a thin piece of white wood glue holding that thing down. I can show that to you. Come on. Darn it. There it is. That's it. And it's got holes in that. It's not seen properly. And cheap glue, yeah. They'll come loose sooner or later with some, you know, some temperature, some humidity. It'll pop loose and this whole thing will come loose. Um, electronics, I've changed those out for Gibson. You can see the long shaft Gibsons that are in there. Uh, there's not even any supporting for the, uh, what you call it, for the uh, uh, jack. I got my finger back there covering it up and open and stuff, showing you the light behind it. There on the left side of the screen. There's no wood back there to even support the jack going in and out. It's, just, it's still just the body and the uh, metal of the jack itself. That's it. So how much more piss poor can you make guitar than this one and charge 400 bucks for it? And again, this is why I didn't order this guitar. Someone sent this to me and tried to bill me for it. You know, it really pisses me off. Because after looking at the ES335 and 355, I knew that this would be total junk. And it was such a poor effort at making a copy or a fake, it wasn't worth getting to show you why, you know, to avoid, how to avoid a fake Gretsch. Because it's so obvious it's a fake. Nothing on it really resembles a white falcon that much. Other than the fact it's white, it's got the same shape as a guitar, but uh, all the uh, work on it, you know, the uh, frets, the uh, um, binding, all the rest of it, it's not even close. So I thought, you know, why bother? I'd be an idiot to think this is a white falcon. You know, it's not even close to being a white falcon. But of course, it's, it's close to one of those oddball models that Gretsch has from China. Oh yeah, and the Chinese Gretsch, believe it or not, uh, is better made than this. Uh, it does have bottom structure to it and bottom struts. I've seen those. Uh, the top, I'm not sure of. I'm not had a uh, mirror to look inside there. But uh, if I were to go buy a Gretsch today from China, uh, I'd take a flashlight, look inside, make sure it had bottom struts to it. And it was one of the better ones and take one of those tiny dentist mirrors with me so I could put down the sound hole look up inside of it and see that the top was supported as well other than just a piece of friggin sawn uh, yellow pine for the Bigsby and that's ridiculous anyway you any questions about this uh, before you buy one of these fakes give me a holler I sure can save you a lot of time money and, and uh, grief David Texas bye